the Asus Stuff series offers some decent specs for a gaming laptop. But does it have thermal throttling issues? And does it have a huge impact on the performance? In this video, we are going to be checking the difference between stock thermal paste and the thermal grizzly conductor knot. I got the Asus Tough Pi Note 5 DT version. So, there's a Ryzen 7 3750H CPU, NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics, 16 GB memory in dual channel, and a 120 Hz 1080 screen. And I have already run the benchmark for the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And this result will be shown at the end for comparison. This is the gameplay of the forest. You can see the temperature and the clock speed of the GPU in the top left corner. As you can see, it's now running at 76 degrees Celsius. The problem with that is that it's thermal throttling now. Every now and then the FPS drops making the gaming experience bad. So I have finally mustered up the courage to risk my laptop for more performance. Yeah. As you can see now, clearly it's thermal throttling now, and it's unplayable. This is RealBench, the software I use for benchmarking. I fast forwarded it a little bit. Let's wait for the score. As you can see, the score is in the 70k range. Okay, let's get to it then. The things you will need are a screwdriver set, thermal paste, some cotton, isopropyl alcohol, insulation tape and something to protect the circuit. I use nail polish coating. Warning, if you have a different laptop, these steps might be different. So I am removing the back plate now. Carefully remove the back plate without breaking the clips. Okay, that's out of the way. The most important thing to do now is to unplug the battery. Otherwise, you will short circuit the battery. That's done now. Now take the screw of the copper cooler one by one. By the way, no need to remove the fan screws. I removed them to clean the fans. So if you want, you can remove and clean them. Oh, and by the way, uh, there's a number engraved in the uh, cooler in my laptop, so I would suggest you to unscrew in that order. And the cooler is loose now. Now it's cleaning time. Use some cotton dipped in alcohol and clean the CPU and GPU and all the parts where you want to apply the thermal paste. I'm time lapsing that now. Now the coating part. Make sure to apply the coating to all exposed circuit parts near it. I applied two layers of the coating just to be sure. 
Use the alcohol pads given in the thermal grizzly package to once more clean the area. Oh, don't forget to put back the insulation. Finally, the moment of truth. It works. Phew. All that I was really paid off. Now I'm running the benchmarks. You can skip this if you want. Chapters in the description. Wow, it looks really good. And these are the results. Also happy to announce that the forest is not lagging anymore at very high settings. The results from the real bench are very good. 
there is a 20k difference in the final score on average i would say there is a 15 degree difference in the temperature so it was worth it and that's it for the video thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share